Hi guys, it's Misha and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be talking about the role that race plays in college admissions today and why universities seem to think that diversity is more important than meritocracy. All that the university seems to care about is to look good and to have a diverse you know, student body and, and campus. It's almost like we're going backwards. Uh, in the Soviet Union, they had quotas. There's a certain like percentage of Jewish people that were allowed into the university. And even if someone is very smart, but they already had enough Jews, then they wouldn't allow that person to attend. And this happened in a lot of Ivy League universities in America as well. Stanford, for example, had this problem where they were obviously anti-Semitic and they just recently admitted it and apologized. So when it comes to the admission process, it seems that a lot of these schools are focusing on the applicant's skin color rather than their merit or what they're capable of. So that is racism, by the way. We can think about what MLK said and how we should judge a man not by you know the color of his skin, but by the content of his character. That is the exact opposite of what these universities are doing because the progressives now, they don't actually care about if you're qualified or not. If they need more black people, they're gonna let more black people in. If there are too many Asians, they're gonna say, okay, no more Asians. You can't even tell students anymore, hey, if you work hard you know, and put in all the effort, then you could really get into a, a good school and your work, hard work will pay off. You can't even say that anymore. And it's really unfortunate because we have all of these parents who you know, come to the US looking for the American dream so that their children can grow up with a, a fair chance at entering an amazing school. And now you can't if you're a certain race or if you're not a minority. They're pitting kids against one another, not for their ability. Competition is one thing, but to compete because of some arbitrary designation from the top down because of race that is insidious and wrong for both the individual and for the country. Which explains why it is so fashionable to pretend to be a minority nowadays because you get all these benefits. Department of Justice claims Yale is using race as the determinative factor in hundreds of admissions decisions each year. Concluded that Yale violated federal civil rights law. It stems from a 2016 complaint against Yale, Brown and Dartmouth and claims white and Asian American applicants have a 10 to 25% likelihood of acceptance compared to African American applicants with the same credentials. It's these same schools that teach institutionalized racism. Meanwhile, they are the racist ones and they are the loudest people constantly screaming about racism. And I also think legacy is, is kind of silly. I mean, we should really be focusing on a person's intelligence and qualification, not whether or not their parents went to the school or grandparents went to the school. And of course, favoring minorities is not right. But as long as they are benefiting from the discrimination, they think it's okay. And doing this in the name of diversity, they are mostly discriminating against white and Asian Americans. And the reasoning behind this is that, oh, Asian Americans are overrepresented in our school, which is crazy. I mean, basically you're saying that because you are Asian American, you can't attend our university, even if you are qualified. Because they're seen as part of the majority now. It's just that they're trying really hard. They're putting in so much work and um, it's just sort of being ignored because they're not the race you want to see in these schools. People aren't numbers. There are real people losing that opportunity. It's pretty upsetting to me to know that the reason is merely because of race. I remember talking to my friend in high school and she told me about this and she was saying, oh, I'm, I'm worried I'm not gonna get into my dream school, which is Ivy League. I was like, there's no way you, you won't get in. She had a near perfect SAT score. She was so smart. She was definitely qualified. And she told me about this, how universities are now saying that there are too many Asian people and they are turning them away. And I really could not believe it. But now because you're not born a certain race, and you're not a minority in the school, then you can't get in, which is ridiculous. But this hurts the African-American students that weren't qualified but did get admitted as well because now they are in a position where it's very unlikely that they will succeed academically because they just aren't prepared. And now we're seeing that the dropout rate is increasing as well. But this starts before university because now we're lowering academic standards if there are more white people performing better on exams in math, for example. That's where the whole math is racist um, idea came from. And we are using affirmative action and allowing them into a college that they aren't qualified for, which they obviously will have trouble succeeding in. Are you saying that all yeah. white people in America are racist? Yeah, I am too. Well, isn't racism the belief that one race is inherently superior than another race and then you discriminate against other races? That is a piece of racism, but you gave a definition that's really old. 
um, and language evolves over time. Microaggressions, fine. I think we're getting sidetracked a little bit, doctor. Explain how math is racist. I still haven't really understood the premise from you. Well, the first premise, the first starting point that we have to get on the same page on is that we live in a white supremacist racial caste system. Okay, I'm not willing to same page agree that? with that. No, I, no. I disagree with that. And it won't stop in university either. This is happening in the workplace as well. You should be giving the job to the most qualified individual, not thinking about their race. And the exact opposite is happening now. So they're not even worried about whether or not the person is qualified, which is very dangerous. Think about all the doctors that are being hired right now. That must feel terrible to realize you only got a job because of your race and because your company wanted to be more diverse. It's just wrong. These policies stem from these progressives who are not expecting black people to be able to succeed on their own, and that's what's actually racist. That's all for today's video, guys. Please remember to comment below your opinion on this and subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.